what's good y'all it's boy ross back at again with another video so we got to check out mjf's deleted tweet a lot of people have been talking about it a lot of people had uh sent it to me i just didn't have a chance to actually make a video about it but uh it definitely uh, caused some uh conversation so we're gonna check that out appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel you guys are truly amazing let's get right into this apparently deleted tweet man so this is from mjf's account the more wrestling fans become bloodthirsty for these dangerous feats in the ring the more the wrestlers will hurt themselves trying to curry fans favor wrestlers the fans don't understand that at any given point we can be paralyzed from the neck down or even die from a maneuver as simple as a body slam by the way fans reading this body slams hurt every move hurts i mean he he is uh he's kind of pulling back that curtain to let people know you know some people think oh it's you know it's not that painful you get out there and try it you get out there and take a, a body slam repeatedly that canvas definitely hurts <laughs> I, I more power to them they will keep uh moving the goalposts of what they deem is good so before you do something stupid consider this their tweet about your banger gonna um uh, their tweet about your banger gonna pay for your medical bills do the right thing go in, go in that ring with intention of winning the match and leaving the ring the same way you entered it get the winner's purse and get out honestly i don't even know why he deleted it i would have kept that up i i think wrestling has turned into now how crazy can we do the acrobatics how how crazy can the spots get how many light tubes can we use you know granted it's it's been a thing but it was always more niche even growing up in my era of uh, wrestling you know it, it kind of got a little bit more uh intense because of the era that we was in you know the 90s was all about anti-authority and you know pushing the envelope and and nowadays we've seen so much of wrestling that it's like how can we top each other how can we get to that point of holy s in my opinion those type of matches the the death matches the the flaming table matches yeah they're cool as a visual but if i had to choose honestly and maybe it's because i've gotten older and those type of matches they they're they're cool in the sense of like that's crazy that someone's doing that for our entertainment more or less than holy s you know what i'm saying like i've kind of come accustomed to matches that are more story based those are the matches i find myself invested in the most now granted it can have their intense moments it can have their 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 you know their blood spots you know the bloody spots and stuff like that and potentially some dangerous spots i get that i understand that and it it, it, it fits in the right context but at the same time when i really think about it and like really break this down the matches i've found to be the most entertaining are the ones that don't have so many gimmicks to it and the wrestlers are not doing crazy flips and dives you know out of nowhere you know saying for the context of what the match is trying like for the context of what's happening in the match like for example one of my favorite matches and i've talked about this so many times john cena versus cm punk money in the bank 2011 it's one of my favorite matches of all time it's one of the it, it, it's just so good that i was able to see that when it happened live because I hadn't watched wrestling in years up until the CM Punk pipe bomb. And when I saw that match and the story leading up to that match, it was perfect. It They didn't need them to go through a flaming table to get the crowd invested. The crowd was super invested already because they wanted CM Punk to win. The story was CM Punk, if he wins this match, he's leaving WWE with the title. It was more story driven. This was CM Punk versus WWE themselves. John Cena was the embodiment of WWE and everything that he didn't like about WWE. 
He was the embodiment of it. So it was like the people versus WWE. And the story behind it was fantastic. You couldn't beat that. HBK versus The Undertaker. WrestleMania 25. Their first go around. Match stole the show. Is HBK doing what he does best? Putting on a, a show. And, and taking The Undertaker to his limit. The, sto the storytelling with The Undertaker's face when he kicked out the tombstone and he just looked like, what? What? How? What is going on? Shawn Michaels trying to do the unthinkable and then them continuing the story because H Shawn couldn't live with the fact that he didn't get the job done and it bothered him. He was that close. That close to getting the job done and he didn't do it. So it was always on his mind and they built it up for next year's WrestleMania. Like, it's just those matches. And even recently, I'll even put, I will definitely put Roman versus Cody. Story was there. It just felt like this was the time. You felt like something different. It felt like a big feel match. And guess what? They didn't have to do too many crazy spots because the story was there. Cody trying to overcome the odds and stop the bloodline, stop Roman Reigns. One of my favorite parts of the match, even though some people, you know, have issues with it, but I still loved it. And I thought they were going to pull the trigger when the uh, when uh, Sammy and Kevin Owens get into the ring and it's only Sammy, Kevin Owens, uh, Cody and Romans in the ring and they hit their finishers on him. I'm like, bro, this is their way of getting him back for all the pain he's caused them these past few years. And I thought it was over. I thought he was about to, Cody was gonna win it and they and he didn't. And it just bro, those matches will be the matches that stand the test of time. Now, granted, there are always gonna be some spot matches that you'll always fondly remember. TLC at WrestleMania 17, I will always remember that match. It's a spot fest, but it's fun. And there's nothing wrong with those fun type of matches. I don't think there's anything wrong with it, but I do think MJF makes a great point. The, the matches that these fans want, the banger matches that require them to do fucking crazy Spanish flies off the top of a scaffolding, you know what I'm saying? Like those, in my opinion, aren't necessary to appease some of these fans. I think wrestling needs to go back more so, and you can have these little spot fest moments here and there. There's nothing wrong with that. I'm all for it. But I do think for the longevity of a wrestler's career, and if you want to see them make it to 30 or, you know what I'm saying, beyond wrestling, I think you have to go about it in have wrestlers entertain in a, a safer way and, and, and have good storylines. Wrestling is is if you haven't tell if you haven't been able to tell, wrestling is its best in my opinion when the story is so captivating and you're invested to the point where you want someone to win and you you're hoping and praying that they win. You know and 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 you buy into what's happening in the ring. And, and that's just my opinion, man. I, and I agree with MJF here. It should be about getting your money, entertaining the people, showing your craft, but not trying to kill yourself to entertain some of these guys on the internet that's not going to pay for your medical bills. They can be like, damn, get well soon, bro. And then want the next person to do the same fucking stunt. And accidents happen. But I feel like sometimes as fans, we do forget these are human beings these are not action figures there's only so many times they can take certain spots and bumps and concussions before it's like yo they gotta chill they gotta they have the rest of their lives to live outside of wrestling so that is my thing you know and even if you do wrestling in the probably the the most safest way possible you're gonna get injured you know what i'm saying hell we the Undertaker, one of the greatest to ever do it. You know, he granted he wasn't out there, you know, doing all kinds of crazy flips and dives, not much, but even his body was taking a toll. You know, even his body went through the ringer. You know, so if you have a chance, especially a wrestler, if they have the chance to 
make their life a little bit better outside of wrestling when it's all said and done when it's, they're not too banged up i think they should go for it and i'm in total agreement with mjf is saying here at the end of the day you ain't got to do the crazy spots flips and dives you ain't got to do none of that honestly what you need to do is make sure that the the in-ring uh skills and abilities are honed in in a safe way as safe as you can possibly do it and make sure that you get home to your family to your loved ones and you have a life outside of wrestling and you don't have to be relegated to a wheelchair or paralyzed things happen in the ring but if you can limit those things happening in the ring and still entertain and still put on a good performance why not because at the end of the day fans are going to appreciate good wrestling good storytelling that will never die as an art. You don't have to flip off a fucking building to prove that you love wrestling. If the story is there, the people will be invested. It's as simple as that. So comment down below. Let me know. Do you guys think MJF should have deleted his tweet and uh, sh he should have kept this up? You know, I personally think he should have kept this up. And do you agree with his sentiments on how modern wrestling wants, you know, well, a lot of the fans in modern wrestling want you to do the crazy stunts and dives and flips and cartwheels? And, you you know, do you feel like that's necessary nowadays? Or do you think more wrestling that's involved with the actual style of wrestling and storytelling is the thing to go and, can, and to continue to push uh, in the wrestling business? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all love and support you guys showing on the channel. Road to 150K. And I'm still the Undisputed YouTube Wrestling Champ of the World. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.